Greetings, Zero here, and welcome back to the Liquid Crystal Fairy Pseudomon type run. Last time, I fixed the power plant, beat Misty for a Cascade Badge, and obtained a not a Poke Flute to wake up that Snorlax. We'll take care of that in a bit, but first, we're going to explore Cerulean Cave, which is a bit different in this hack than it is in Vanilla. By Red, that is. Of course, in Gen 2, it's actually not there at all, because it had to be cut due to space limitations on the cartridge. Yeah, the Pokemon here are strong enough that even repels aren't necessarily going to guarantee they won't show up. But that's perfectly fine, because that's part of the reason why I'm here as well. It's, this is... Prior to, uh... Well, actually, I think this is the best place you can train. Um, prior to the fourth act of the game. As I checked, this has the highest uh, level wild Pokemon in Goto Kanto. Just that general area. I don't know why the ladders are... well, the stairs are fucked up in some places, but they are. Whatever. No. See anything over here. Alright. Back down we go. Get this. Let me come back down here. Whoops. I meant to go over here first. Nope. Any items over here? Yeah, there are. Now we'll go back up here. Max Ender, or either, rather. And now, there's a couple ways we can go. No, we're not going to go up there yet. We want to get all the items in here as well. Anything over here? Nope. Go away. Nothing over here. Okay. Then we'll go back around this way. Yeah, I suck at mazes. Especially when I'm just rushing them like this, but whatever. And now we're here on the basement floor. around this way, and unfortunately, Mewtwo's not here, but there is a DNA sample. As far as I'm aware, this has absolutely no use in Liquid Crystal because I'm pretty sure whatever that's related to was never actually finished. Consequently, it is not possible to legitimately obtain Mewtwo in this hack, unfortunately. Anyways, I'm actually going to do some off-screen level grinding real quick. I'll be right back. And we're back, after we finished training up my everyone on my team, including the ones not present, to level 70. We're getting up to the point of the game where I'm going to want Pokemon in that level range, so I figured might as well do it sooner rather than later. And I'll probably need to do more grinding than that, actually, before we uh, fight Red later on. Not really a spoiler, I mean, this is a remake of Gen 2, so of course I'm going to fight Red eventually. Now here we are in Vermilion City. You know what we're gonna save real quick. Hey! Fat ass! Rise and shine! Oh, never mind. Now we do it! Get the fuck up! It's like 6 p.m. You've overslept! Shit, I mean, I'm a night owl myself, but that's ridiculous! Uh, 
Okay, fine. Be that way, bitch. Get in the ball. Get in the goddamn ball. I dare not weaken it any further. Get in the fucking ball, you stubborn bastard. Am I really gonna go through 50 Ultra Balls before I catch you? Is that, is that what's gonna happen? Finally! Yeah. Now go sit in the PC where you belong, fat ass. Sadly, there's no hidden leftovers here, unlike in Gen 2. Although you can get plenty of other leftovers in this game. So, we need to worry about that. Yeah. We're gonna use Super Repel, otherwise we're gonna run into a constant stream of inescapable Diglett and Duck Trio encounters because of Arena Trap. Unless I had Galahad with me, which I do not, because flying types are not effective. Okay, so I'm over here. Take on this bug catcher. And now we make it to Peter City. So, a couple things, uh, where is he? Ah, over here. That's how you get the Silver Wing, which means I can go and encounter Lugia later. I'm over here. Nope. Actually, what I should what I should do before this is, well, actually, you know, I'll do it later, but I'll show you before we finish this episode for sure. Nope. Yep. You're trash, Brock. Eh, you're a better loser than most of my opponents. Then I guess you have a lot of practice! Let's go to Mart real quick. Oh yeah, I got a Twisted Spoon from uh, a Wild Cadabra using Thief. Now we're gonna go this way. There's a bunch of trainers over here. You know what? Fuck off. We're gonna keep doing this until it stops raining. Yeah, I'd like to go onto one route without it raining for once, please. Nothing over here. Okay, you know what? Fuck off with that shit. Smart ass. Oh, this guy's interesting, because this guy has a team from Owen. That's where he's from.
Now, those of you who played the Gen 2 games will know what to expect here. I gotta save real quick. Yep, rival ambush. Now you think, well, is this is this silver doing a, doing his face turn finally? Mm, don't get your hopes up, sweetie. Okay, you know what? Never mind. That's what I get for being cocky. I am going to. There we go. God damn it, I hate that ability. Oh, fuck off, Silver! Fuck off. You are really annoying me. No. We're not playing any stupid games, Silver. Yeah, serves you right, smartass. Really? Just go down already! Well, you thought wrong. Keep dreaming, kiddo. Anyways, now we can explore at least a good chunk of Mount Moon, which is a lot smaller than Vanilla Fire Red and Leaf Green. Just like in Gen 2, because again, this map had to be truncated. And look, it's that same scientist from uh, north of Lavender Town getting in the way. Of course, over here on, I think it's Monday nights, you can find a bunch of fairy dancing. Here's a store. You know what? Actually, yes, we are going to pick up a whole bunch of these. Because in terms of just cost, those are... Well, the drinks are a lot more cost-effective than the potions. Just for healing between Pokemon centers. There's a Calcium. That's free money at this point. This way, there's a couple more trainers out here. Whoops, didn't need didn't mean to do that. Whatever. Let's try to save power points for psychic. Is there anybody up here? Nope. Back down this way. And... No. And here is... A hit point up. And now we're gonna go back to Pure City. Now let's head down towards, uh, well, uh, Viridian City. So yeah, the layout of Viridian Forest has changed quite a bit. Especially compared to 
the original Gen 2 games where instead of the Viridian Force, it is the Viridian Hedge Maze. Here the forest is a lot more open. Wait, that bug catcher's name is Ashley. Well, then again, Ashley Ashley is actually a unisex name. Most people don't know that. Male Ashleys do exist in the real world. And in fiction, too. Uh, one that comes to mind is, uh... Ashley Burnett's. Um, he was a character from Ace Combat 5 and Ace Combat 0. Okay, uh... Any more hidden items? Guess not. Yeah, we're just beating up all the trainers on the way out. Because I can. But of course, there's all these damn obstacles getting in the way, making it more difficult. I think there's at least one other hidden item around here. Guess not. Oh, here we go. And it out. Yeah, it's been there since Gen 1. Oh, there's an item up there I missed. We'll beat this guy up, and then we'll go back and get it. Max Potion. Okay. Nope, fuck off. Now, real quick, let's go over here and check out the items on this side. Elixir. Dire hit. And this guy gives you a nugget. Now, coming back down here, we reach Viridian City. Now, there is a gym here, but we can't take it on yet. First things first, let's heal. Now, over here, um, is the, uh, what do they call it? Trainer House? Yeah, normally there would be a trainer called Cal in, uh, the Gen 2 games. He just has the fully evolved Johto starters. Not here, though. Here, it's actually a mirror match. You fight yourself with your own team. You do it once a day. And this guy gives you a Dream Eater. I don't think I'll use that. Hypnosis is the only sleep-inducing move I think I'll have access to. There's another trainer over here I'm going to find real quick. One of the tougher ones. Nope. Down you go. What happened? You lost. And now we can move on to Route 1. And it's raining again. Give me a sec. There we go. We took one time to reset it. Is there an item over here? I think there is. Nope. Yeah, they're all low level, so... Screw that. We're not going to waste time. There are a couple of trainers here. Pretty high level for Route 1, huh? I wonder what they're doing here. Are they just clubbing the baby seals leaving Pallet Town? I mean, come on, guys. Have some standards, will ya? Now we reach Pallet Town. It's raining, but this time I want to. I'm not going to show you guys something really cool. 
This guy right here is a move tutor. What does he teach? Belly drum. Oh yeah. For those of you who don't know what it does, it's a move that cuts your, your hit points by half. And maxes out your physical attack stats. Now, a Pokemon that has... What is it? Huge power? Which already gives a 50% boost to physical attack power by itself. Plus Belly Drum. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is going to be mean, because there's a trainer here I'm actually going to take on in a second. We're just going to see what happens. This is going to be a curb stop. But just in case. Yeah, this guy's here to visit Red, apparently. Valo. I don't remember this guy. I don't know if he's a character from any of the games, or... I know it was Volo, but don't mistake him for Valo. And besides, that game came out way after this thing stopped development. That's one. Two. Two one-hit knockouts. Three. Three one-hit knockouts. Four. Four one-hit knockouts. Five. And... Six. Yeah, it's pretty fucking broken. That can make any physical attacker on the team in a given monotype run just overpowered. Anyways, I think this is a good place to wrap it up, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to move on to Cinnabar Island next. If you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page, and I will catch you all next time.